Okay, so hello folks, and welcome to my new video. In this video today, I'm going to be talking about how to go about collecting pearls. So, pearls are um, quite useful for the electronics. Something interesting I also noticed is they added these cool new icons to the uh, pursuits. That is um, quite nice. I kind of wish they had... Uh, uh, I kind of wish instead of adding nice icons, they had added more pursuits. Maybe they did that as well. I don't really know. Anyways, I am here at the mobile base. I'm just going to head over here. Um, let's see. Where do I want to go? Yeah, I, I, I do want to be careful not to show the map on screen here because this is like, you know, obviously my tribe's base, so I, I don't want to be like sharing all that stuff. Anyways, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, yeah, I'm probably just going to jump right in and start going this direction over here. It's actually pretty cool uh, swimming through this area. Uh, this is Iceberg area. There's a Megalodon. It's probably going to see me in a moment. Um, hello, Megalodon. Okay, so yeah, pearls generally collect over on the edge of the coast way over here. Um, okay. I just, I mean, if the Megalodon comes over, I'll just attack at it. Um... I should be good. Gener generally, I'm able to swim out of the Megalodon's way pretty quickly. Yeah, so anyways, the what I've been up to lately is I made a bunch of videos about how to, um, y you know, just do very basic things in ARC. Um, I kind of got a little bit bored when I was trying to make a hard PvP uh, series, just because the XP rate is so much slower, and is that thing going to kill me? Probably. I need to attack it. Oh, yay. Hello, guys. How are you all doing? And, yeah, I'm probably going to die soon here. Um, yeah. Um, what is that? Okay. Yeah. There you go. Okay, where's this? So that's good. Um, good. Okay. Now I'm going to just try to start swimming back towards shore. I don't know if I'll be able to get there. Um, I'm pretty low on stamina. And well, that thing is really cool. What's that? Oh, that's probably just a dead animal from the... Um, yeah, it's super annoying, though, when you run out of stamina, because then you just, like, you have to wait for a little bit, and then, well, I guess, see, it's it's going to be a little bit tougher. Well, you know what I could do is I could swim over to this, um, this uh, ramp right here, and then just walk up the ramp, and then just stand on the ramp. I don't know whose ramp it is, but, oh, well, I'm just going to go there. if I'm even able to get out of the water. That's funny. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. So that's just Joshy. 
So this person leaves things everywhere throughout ARC. It's kind of annoying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a chef station. Oh, see, I can't place the chef station on somebody else's thing. Oh, well. Um, I was thinking about getting, like, some health brews uh, just to, uh, you know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and pop down some health, or uh, pop down the chef station and make some uh, health brews. Okay. Because there we are. And we've got health. Except except energy except and we'll just grab a few of those okay that's good now i'm going to just pick that up now i'm going to put down out well let me drink some of those in case i start getting attacked um I'm gonna put down this um that where did, there we are okay I grab myself this here. Um, you oh, you may also have been wondering why I didn't go with the scuba tank and mask, and that's because they don't really actually do anything useful when you're just trying to, you, you know, get the basic uh, things, uh, or when you're just trying to go somewhere. That the only time those things are useful is when you're trying to go underwater and you need like tons and tons of stamina uh, to get and, and like oxygen and stuff. And the scuba uh, mask, I only feel like that's really useful if you're actually trying to see underwater. So what I'm gonna do here though is, I um, not that, I'm going to get this for some fiber so that I can make some cloth clothes. Um, no, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to go kill that uh, rhinoceros and make hide clothes because that's just a little bit stronger. What I've found is that having some decent hide clothes is more than enough just to protect you while you're collecting uh, pearls on the beach. Okay, so I'm going to head back over here. Hello, woolly rhinoceros. Um, okay, and then try running towards it. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Um, because if you run towards it, it, like, can't attack you because you're behind it. Um, so it, it's, like, super, like, useful. Anyways, I always check what's in these item caches. Uh, normally it's nothing terribly useful, so I'll just take that, take all, and then drop, because I don't use that for recipes. Um, and then I'm going to make this, this, perfect, just equip. Eh? Oh, I forgot that I was wearing that. <laughs> okay, well, anyways. So now I'm going to just uh, keep going with... Uh, running along the edge here. Um, but yeah, that would definitely explain why I was able to survive so long. But it would also explain why, um, you know, I, I don't know if electricity from the electrofishes affects you the same way in this. Um, I'm going to go up here. What on earth is attacking? What was that? Oh, man. Yeah, I want that thing to go away. Um, okay, so now I'm going to, where am I? I'm going to go over here and equip this sickle because that's pretty useful for getting rid of those things. Um, Um, or not. Um, yeah, I'm going to go back up here. There we are. 
I'm going to go over to this one because it's kind of up on a little bit of a ledge. Okay, so now, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to make a run for it. I'm going to just try to get around the corner. Um... Yeah, this is uh, quite a, a interesting video that I'm trying to make here just because I had forgotten just quite how dangerous the sort of upper area of the map was. And, you know, that's, you know, that's obviously something... Oh, dear. Hello there. Hello, shark. Um, have a nice day. Go away somewhere else. Bother somebody else. Um... Yeah, it, it, it's coming for me. Um, I'm surprised it hasn't started trying to eat me so far. It's probably, like, right behind me. Okay, so I'm just uh, swimming along here. And that is a really interesting looking base. I sure hope that is a friendly base because there's a good chance it'll blast me out of the water right here. Um, I'm going to just try to hug the coast here. But yeah, there's a good chance that if that's a enemy base that I will die here. But yeah, no, that's a good example though of th these icebergs are really fantastic places to build bases on so you know if you're on a server like this you should definitely and you want to build a secure base um but you know so an iceberg is an, an excellent option provided that you remember that high level players really want icebergs because, like, it's kind of like having your own little private island. Um, so, you, you know, it's just important to remember that. But, um, yeah, just bring a bunch of turrets, bring a bunch of um, met or, like, you, you know, you could even just bring a factory and pop that down and then put the turrets on it um, or on, like, a little tiny one-by-one -one metal base. Um, but, yeah, it's super fun having... a private icebergs. Is that thing right up there to the right gonna shoot me? I, I don't know. You know, but again, that that's part of the fun of this game is all the uncertainties of like, well, am I going to survive just even like slightly longer? And I, I, I don't know. So that that's kind of, I think, part of what the thrill of this game is is just all of the uncertainties with um, uh, whether or not you are going to survive or whether you're going to just die again. And I don't know, that that's one of the things that I just find super fun about this game is that it's just, it provides endless, um, endless amounts of like uh, opportunities for you to kind of feel the, the kind of like, Am I gonna am I gonna be able to do it or am I gonna die? And it, it's just I don't know, I find it fun just exploring around the map. Um, and these beaches are really cool just because number one, besides the really cool graphics and stuff, um, it's I don't know, it's it's just kind of fun collecting resources and pearls are one of the most useful resources you can collect because everyone is always short of pearls. Um, you know, metal is much easier to obtain. Oh my gosh. That is some scary looking stuff there. Let's see here. So, um, what I'll do is I'll just try to run. They're going to see me. I just need to try to get past them relatively quickly. Um, good. Or, um, okay. 
perfect. Good. Okay. Um, what is attacking me? Okay, so I'm just doing my sort of standard thing, which is point the sickle upwards, attack at the sky, and it's, you know, it's fairly good for just uh, killing off the predators. Um, I feel like there was one more bird, so I'll just uh, get this one uh, just for the hide in case I need to make extra hide clothes. Good. Now I'm going to just uh, grab this over here. Uh, put on feast. Nope. Oh, they moved all the buffs around. That's annoying. Um, so put on feast. Uh, so that would clear the hunger. And then just check out the item cap is normally, as as I said, normally it's it's nothing really that useful. Um, but yeah, definitely grab all the arrows that you find because those are quite useful. Um. Good. So yeah, I'm going to just keep running along here. Um, I'm going to stay away from that because that looks like some turrets over there. And yeah, I'm going to just keep running along here then. Normally there is a, a Alpha T-Rex or a T-Rex in this sort of little area right here. And sometimes the Titanosaur wanders into there. So that's like useful if you're ever trying to find those relatively high leveled um, creatures. I don't know if anything's over there right now. I generally try to go past here pretty quickly just to avoid that area. Looks like nothing's there. That could be a bad thing though because that might mean that there's uh, high level enemies nearby. So in general this sort of area right here is just a place you kind of want to avoid, um, unless you're actively looking for a PvP uh, situation. A lot of campfires, yeah, that, I mean, that that's just, as I said, like, this is a very uh, popular area for people to go for, like, PvP-type situations. Um, okay, so, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm going to just keep running along here. I mean, again, as, as you notice, there's tons and tons of resources around here, although there's, like, no metal, but, I, I mean, obviously you can get the metal quite easily from the metal mountains in on the interior of the map. Okay, so, yeah, I'm going to just run around here, uh, grab these here. Uh, yeah, I mean, think of how good this would be on, like, the double resources uh, weeks, though. Like, I mean, you would just get an insane amount of resources gathering these pearls here. Um, sleeping bag. Looks like that's an ally sleeping bag. That's pretty cool. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm going to just run around here, then. Um... Although, seeing an ally's sleeping bag is also slightly worrying, because as you can see up there, we got an enemy, or potentially an enemy base. I don't know if it's an enemy base, but, you, you know, when you see an ally's sleeping bag, you kind of have to wonder, was the ally thinking they might die relatively soon? Um, which is always a, you know, a good thing to consider, uh, you, you know, Okay, so here's T-Rex. I really don't want to talk to the T-Rex right now. Um, and get rid of this tree here. Okay. There's a metal structure over there. I... Okay, so it looks like there's a fair amount of other player activity in this sort of general area. So I'm gonna just try to move the over here 
a little bit, um, get out of the way. Um, if the ground starts shaking, that means the T-Rex is right behind you. So, I don't think it started shaking quite yet, but, so I, I think this is still just that dire wolf. But I'll know in just a moment here. Yeah, it's just the dire wolf right now. Um, yay. Okay. Yeah, they get more, like, sort of power when they howl like that. So I, I really don't like it when they howl because that's just, that's just a bad sign. Um, anyways, uh, okay, so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back over here then. And just start attacking this. Um, looks like they both pretty much did all the damage to each other. So what we need to do here is just, uh, get the extra or take up the ec or the last remaining bit of damage um so that that's nice okay so I'm, yeah i'm gonna just head along here and again you know just grabbing all these pearls this is such this is so useful uh for making the anything electronics uh later on okay and electronics again are made with I think you uh, use, it. I think it's two metal bars, or it's one metal bar and three pearls per electronic. And, you know, electronics are things, uh, I think you need 150 or 300 electronics for one auto turret. And then you also use electronics for things like explosives and stuff like that. So overall, electronics are something that you basically, you never have too many of them. Um... Polymer is slightly easier to get a hold of, provided that you're able to get a pretty decent supply of cementing paste. Um, so cementing paste will be the main thing that you are uh, hurting for when it comes to polymer. But, you know, for electronics, as you can see, it's very time consuming to get pearls here. Um, pearls also spawn in the uh, the cave, the underwater caves. Problem is, just like the icebergs, players really like the underwater caves uh, because of the opportunity they provide for a sort of uh, one person or one tribe base um, that like is all yours and just is owned entirely by you. So, you know, that is one of the main issues with those underwater bases. Okay, yeah, again, again, lots of very high-level predators along these beaches, and uh, if the Chalice Ethereums uh, kind of get uh, worried about you, they're also going to attack you, and those things are really annoying because they, like, spit at you, and, um, like, they throw rocks at you and stuff, so they're, they're just really, really annoying. Okay, so I'm going to just keep running along here. What is this? That's an enemy as well. Okay, there's generally a fairly large amount of people trying to fight for control of this area right next to those rock or those ice rocks that poke straight up in the air. Um, so, yeah, just be careful in this area. Okay, and I'm going to just grab some of this fiber. Um, what's also useful is since I'm using the high damage per second item to collect the fiber, um, you, you know, I kind of don't really have to worry quite as much about uh, defending myself from those uh, animals there because I will be attacking them whenever they come towards me. Um, is that a T-Rex right there? I'm going to go look. I'm just curious. No, that's a rock. It looked sort of like a T-Rex, though. Okay, so I'm going to just keep running along here. Run up the hillside a little bit. Good. Um, this is also a, quite an interesting idea of a location for a little one-by-one -one, uh, base. Uh, just sort of as a sort of storage location while you're doing more resource collecting. Um, but anyways... I'll remember that for the future. 
Um, for now, I'm gonna just uh, I'm gonna start heading back this over here. So yeah, um, this is pretty much. Um, I I just was going. Th this was an example of a pearl run for me. I was doing. I'm doing these pearl runs. You, you know, you basically coordinate with your other tribe members. Um, and so one of uh, the tribe members is working on getting stuff like cementing paste and uh, obsidian and metal. And uh, in this uh, situation here, I'm getting uh, pearls. Um, and, you know, again, collecting pearls, very time consuming, but it is definitely worth it. And if you just want to collect pearls to trade for other resources, people are very happy to do that. Oh my gosh, that is really cool looking. I really shouldn't be going this close because this is probably a heavily guarded area. But I'm, it, um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of hoping there's no, uh, is that some turrets there? Yeah, that is some turrets there. I'm going to get out of here. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna just keep going out of this over here. I'm gonna, um, once I get back here, I'm gonna take a sip of this and this. Good. And I'm gonna go down here. Um, yeah, I think what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to skirt around at the base over here. Um,. Yeah, generally they're kind of, they, they kind of leave you alone if you just leave them alone. Um, um, yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just try to get by them over here. But yeah, as, as you notice, like, you, if you see a turret, you can get just, just barely close enough so that it can attack you. That's what a lot of the other um, big name streamers and uh, like, you know, like the MSB gaming and those, those types of people do is like they'll get like you know turtles and walk the turtles right up next to the um next to the just barely in range of the turret so the turret will start um you, you know shooting at the turtle and uh, the turtle soaks up tons of damage then you walk the turtle back a little bit and give it a bunch of meat so it can recover then you hop on another turtle and you know, you know, you just repeat over and over again with uh, lots and lots of turtles, so that you use up all of their ammunition. And then you can just walk right up and attack them with like an ascendant long neck rifle and or you know rocket launcher or something like that. Um, problem with the turrets though is they do shoot at your um, rockets from rocket launchers, so you got to be careful of that. Um, okay, so there's lots of jellyfish right here, and holy moly, there's a lot of sharks here. Okay, um, so yeah, I, um, am now completely surrounded by sharks and jellyfish. That is really cool. Um, not really, actually. Um, <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab more of this, and then one more of these... And then I'm going to go hands here and then just uh, hop in and start swimming as fast as I can. Um, I probably, um, I'm just trying to get over towards the coast here. Hopefully there's no electro fishes because those things will be able to take me out really, really quickly because they stun you and then you can't really see that well. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm going to just keep, uh, going along here and yeah, so, um, go over, over here. What is that? That's a, oh, one of the Pelagor Pelagoriuses. Um, and then yeah, I'm going to run along here again, um, collecting, uh, pearls if I find them. Generally, pearls have quite a long respawn time, though, so they are quite annoying to collect. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just run back along here. 
look for any pearls that I might have missed. Last time I was running by here, um, generally, you, you know, it's pretty easy to just pick up everything. Um, and then, are there turrets here? I forget. I feel like there might be. No? Maybe not. Okay, so I'll just keep running along here then. There we are. Yay. I was worried I'd not gotten that one. Um, yeah, so, you, you know, the, the, these things spawn on all these little, all these little island rocks and stuff out here. So just, you know, make sure to get, get all that you can with the pearls. Okay, and then I'm going to just keep running along here. Um, remember uh, to try to avoid grabbing too many stones because those things are pretty heavy. And then I believe there was a T-Rex around here somewhere. Or at least I believe, if I remember correctly, there was a T-Rex somewhere nearby. Um, there it is. Hi, hey, T-Rex. Don't look at me. Okay. I really want these. Uh, click. There we are. Good. T-Rex egg. Yum. No, yeah, don't, don't, don't intentionally try to aggravate them because they will pursue you quite enthusiastically if you take their egg and you, you know it it I, I feel like I, I don't know if it's just me but I feel like they seem to get more angry if you eat their egg than if you just take their egg but maybe maybe that's just uh, what I've what I seem to have kind of noticed and um, Normally, I only eat their egg if I'm, like, super low on health to begin with. So, <clears throat> maybe it's just, like, one of those things where, you know, I only notice it because it's when I kind of need it in the first place. I'm going to run up, pop onto this right here. Okay. So, I'm going to just chill here for a little bit. But anyways, uh, this gives you a basic idea of the... The challenge, but also of the sort of thrill of collecting pearls. You know, obviously I could have been doing this with like a bird, but you know, I, I, I again, as I said, I, I find it really fun to just explore this world of arc um, with no like really, um, <clears throat> no real uh, sort of like. <clears throat> Other than the thick skin and feast, I I really enjoy just exploring this in quite a simple fashion. And I know some people, um, you, you know, would prefer to do it with like, you, you know, swim on a sarco for the really quick movement speed. And then once you uh, exit the sarco, then, you, you know, go on to... Uh, you know, hop on like a bird, like a pterodon or something like that. I, I find that a huge part of what makes this game enjoyable, though, <clears throat> is that constant, that constant feeling that, oh, oh, that's, that's really interesting. So you cannot drink this while you're swimming. That's really interesting. Okay. So I'm going to just swim over to this ice shelf over here. Um, I do remember that there's a fair number of electro soro fishes, or whatever they're called, over here. Um, um, so, yeah, just uh, I'm going to keep swimming over here. Um, I think I've got some of those shadow stakes in my inventory, so I will probably consume one of those just so I can see better during the night time. Once I get over here, uh, there's one of the elect, I think that's an electro thing. I will know in just a moment. And I don't think it was actually, I guess it was just one of those chili, chili anth, or whatever, whatever, whatever those kind of fishes are that are like super passive and don't do anything, but have like tons and tons of fish meat on them when you kill them. So, again, just going over here towards Iceberg. <clears throat> um, you, you know, once you get over to Iceberg Island, 
it should be fairly straightforward. Um, okay, something is definitely attacking me there. I don't know what that was. Um, what is that? Holy moly. Um, okay. I'm going to try to jump onto this one here. I'm going to try to get on that little whitish patch. And then sip these medical brews. Sip this. Um, eat it for those sake. That's good. Now. Okay. So. Um, I'm going to pull up my navigation kit to see where I am with relation to the island. I am a fair distance off. Um, I'm going to grab this uh, hatchet here and see if I can do any damage to the... Where'd that electrofish go? It's down there. Okay, so I'm going to watch it and see if it goes off. Yeah, so it seems to have swam off a little bit. Um, yeah, you just want to wait for that to go away because those things... That is honestly one of the most annoying things about this general area. The sharks are pretty okay just because if you're wearing some decent flak armor, the sharks really can't damage you too much. But the electrofishes, they do tons and tons of damage. Okay, yeah, so I'm just, I'm back to here. Um, what I generally like trying to do is just grab the uh, the pick and get the, as much oil as I can from this. Um, remember, you don't need to um, you don't need to carry anything except the oil and hides. So you can drop all the stones to make yourself lighter. You don't really need to uh, use leg day here. Um, but leg day is helpful even if you're like swimming in the water. So, but yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop this, and then I'm gonna keep the wood though. I'm going to, again, sip a medical brew, sip a stamina potion, and a shadow steak is running low, so I'm going to eat it. Uh, well, I guess I can't eat one of those um, when I don't need it, so I'm going to pull up this and make sure that I'm pointed in the correct direction, which is straight out, and then hop in and start swimming. If I notice any of the electrofishes uh, nearby, I will make sure to um, swim right back to land. But I didn't, so I'm gonna just keep swimming. Um, one thing that is useful to note is that if you are, um, if, if there is like enemies like on that raft, there is a potential that while you're gone, they could have set up auto turrets and, you know, that, that they might start attacking you the instant you um, swim back or, or start swimming by with all of your pearls. Um, so, that you know, that is a risk I'm taking. I'm just, I'm hoping that they don't do that because that Josh, uh, the, the owner of it, Joshy, whatever his name is, he has like little one-by-one -one bases everywhere. And so I'm guessing that this raft is probably just one of his many uh, bases that he has and that there's a good chance that he's probably at one of his other bases if he's anywhere really in specific um, and so yeah iceberg uh, the main iceberg is right in front of me here um, my team does have turrets set up all over this um, it was it used to be in control of an enemy tribe um, but the team that I'm on raided it. Um, I'm not so much interested in raiding, so I generally let the other teammates do the raiding, and I'm more of a, a resource collection tribe mate. Um, but yeah, you, you know, all types of tribe mates are very important to have, because, you, you know, there's people who are really, really good at PvP, and there's people who are also really good at... Um, uh, resource collection. I really enjoy resource collection. Anyways, um, so I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna just keep running along here. Um, it's sometimes interesting, you'll notice that you're able to run on the surface of the water right next to the edge of land. Uh, so that's something useful to keep in mind, um, is that you have to have yourself angled slightly upward when you get closer. Okay, so I'm going to run over here to the fabricator. Uh, you hold the fabricator 
um, and then transfer this all over here. And then I'm going to just start uh, crafting electronics. There is an interesting bug. So if I stay on the screen too long, um, it will cause the game to crash. So I just close this and look away. But anyways, uh, this is it for the video. If you enjoyed it, please do like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will see you all back in a future video. Thanks for watching.